Welcome back. This is the Q5 Pro from iMedia. It's a nice Android TV box based on iSilicon chipset and it's a quad core processor TV box. It supports 2K, 4K playback. It comes pre installed with Kodi, of course. And the main specifications include an 8 GB internal storage eMMC, 2 GB RAM. It runs under Android 5.1 operating system. GPU is Mali uh, T720. HDMI interface version 2. So it's a very nice box. It supports Zobi Audio, DTS. Like I said, it comes with Kodi pre-installed. So this is basically an unboxing to show you all the items. I'll get back to the box in a minute. Items included remote control unit. It has a special 3D function button here and also some universal functions, I'm not sure. High quality. Power supply unit. HDMI cable. And the user guide manual where you can read all the instructions how to connect the box to the TV, including how to update the software if new updates are out. On the second side you have the remote control functions, also basic stuff how to operate. Let's go to the box. It's made from aluminium material, very high quality. You can see iMedia logo on the top. Let's start with the front. You have the power on off button, LED display on the front. Switching to the right side, you have USB version 2. And switching to the left side, you have an additional USB version 2 and a USB version 3. And a micro SD card slot here also. On the back side, you have an optical connection, coax connection for analog uh, video and, and sound also. You also have an HDMI version 2 interface, an Ethernet LAN, a restore button for updating uh, the software also, and also the power input uh, connection. And of course it has an external antenna, which is a good and nice thing to have. Very high quality. In my second part video, I'll show you how this box operates, all the functions. So stay tuned to my second part video. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. Bye. I'm back and this is the second part where I'm showing you the UI of the Q5 Pro Android TV box for my media company. So I'm covering the UI right now. This is the main screen. You can see the device comes pre-installed with Kodi software, Skype, Facebook, and also comes with Netflix here. You can, if you can see. Again, this is the main screen. You have the Chrome browser here. So you can surf the net. Works really fast. Response time is good. So that's the browser. You have an option to add additional ap applications from the application list to the main screen. So you can add more here. And the company added a nice cleaning app to clean the memory from any resident applications. And of course you have the Play Store. So you can install and also run any Android app or game so pretty nice and jumping into the media center feature but first I'll show you YouTube also it works really fine so you can 
stream music videos so this is YouTube YouTube works really, really nice and jumping to the media center option here you have options the UI you have options here to access your USB device or SD card also additional learn features here you can share folders set a password and IP and access your TV box uh, NFS features also also add directories and share them uh, in your local network UPnP also recognize network devices connected to the same network so that's basically it here you have my apps all the apps that are installed also very responsive very easy to navigate You have an option also to update the firmware. I'll show you in a second. So let's start again. From the start, you have network settings here. Under the settings, you can set the Ethernet settings, IP, gateway, netmask, DNS, or you can access your uh, router. Right now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. Display, you can see it automatically recognizes my TV resolution 1080p at 60 uh, Hz. Screen size, you can calibrate also manually, adjust it. And here are the settings also automatically recognized, I think. And uh, upgrade. You have an option to upgrade the device firmware locally or use it use the online upgrading feature OTA. So no need for any manual updating through the internet. About you can see right now my current firmware installed is version uh, 1.0.5. That's the latest one jumping to more settings you can see that's the basic android settings here and you can see the storage information right now this device has 8 gb internal storage but actually you have 3.5 gb of free space if you need more you can use a micro sd card or an external hard drive connected to one of the usb ports so that's about the space it runs under a uh, lollipop android 5.1 operating system and it works really fast so that's basically it about the ui thanks for watching and see you bye welcome back this is the part where i'm showing you the outdoor information about the iMedia Q5 Pro TV box. It's an Android TV box based on the Lollipop 5.1.1 operating system. Uh, let's jump to CPU Z information. Here you can see we're talking about a 4 core CPU, meaning it's a quad core basically. And it's based on ARM Cortex A53 uh, processor with a peak maximum clock speed of 1.6 GHz. Okay, GPU information you can see here. It uses a Mali T720 GPU. Jumping into device information, you can see manufacturer iSilicon and the model of the processor or the chip HI3798C version 200 you can see it has 2GB RAM 
and you can see internal storage what's left is here also 1.5 GB of free space internal space system information again you can see it runs under Android 5.1.1 operating system works really nice let's go jump into Antutu benchmark that's the score I received after running the test also nice score for a quad core processor and nothing else to show you information is pretty the same compared to CPU Z app so that's it hope you enjoy it my quick uh, intro into the device hardware and thanks for watching and bye back this is the section where I'm going to show you how Kodi works in the iMedia Q5 Pro it's an Android TV box based on iSilicon so let's check out Kodi but before you can see here you have Kodi pre-installed and also if you go to the my apps section you can also see a special app Whopper so you can set the default uh, player if you want to use Kodi internal player to play the files, the video files or you can use an external player so you can switch between two modes ok and you can also reset, ok, select so this is the option it depends on the uh, quality of the videos but normally you will, will, will not need the 2K and 4K resolutions to play with Kodi but there's an option okay that, that just that you know that and right now let's go to Kodi it comes pre-installed with Kodi version 16.1 Dravis so here, this is, here is the system information of course you can see here you have about 1 GB of free RAM RAM and also you can see the resolution of the screen right now the TV other information here you can see also GPU Mali T720 and the resource of the CPU and memory so let's try a few samples from my collection I have in 4k video for example So you can see the movement in the video is pretty smooth. Let's try another one. Also 4K resolution. Okay, of course 1080p very smooth also works and let me show you another 4K video On the top you can see the resources by the CPU 
and it's still very smooth okay let's go out and I'll show you how to use the app that I showed you before right now I'm setting up the Whopper player to the default and launching Kodi again so that you will use the external uh, player You can see the UI is changed, meaning it's right now using an external player, not the Kobe internal player. So that's an option if you have problems playing very high quality uh, resolution videos. Very help helpful feature. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, quick uh, demo of Kobe that works really nice. Thanks for watching and of course welcome to subscribe my blog and my YouTube channel. Thanks and bye.